Gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. Happy Halloween. I got tagged by someone to ask for the Halloween tag, which is great because I was almost wanting to make a re response video if I didn't get tagged because I was chomping at the bit. Uh, I'm going to get rolling here because I'm going to be talking a mile a minute. Um, I wrote the questions down because I uh, wasn't sure if I'd remember them. Uh, first, uh, what food do you like to eat while you're uh, at the theater at home watching a good horror movie? And uh, at the theater, I usually uh, I don't I don't usually snack if I get anything. I usually get some Junior Mints, maybe some Milk Duds, and uh, I usually eat them before the movie even starts because I don't want that box rattling around. And uh, I buy a big old five dollar Coke because uh, what's the point in getting the four dollar one when you can get the five dollar one and it's like three times as big? Uh, usually I don't go to the bathroom for like, or I go to the bathroom like right before I go in to the theater, so I know I don't have to go until uh, after after the show. But uh, at home, I love uh, a lot of times I, I love ice cream, so I'll have a nice bowl of ice cream. It really doesn't matter what kind of ice cream it is, as long as it's cold and uh that would be my number one uh number two horror icon um i've got one horror icon hold on just a second Alrighty. i've got one horror icon and two honorable mentions uh my favorite horror movies and and horror tastes run a little bit s sideways to some people's and uh my favorite horror icon would be this person right here his name is Ash, and he's in, it in the Evil Dead movies, Army of Darkness and such. This is my Ash figurine, and it's still in the box. Ash is my number one favorite all-time horror movie icon. Um, but Sinestastic did, did, did a little different approach on it. He was um, talking about an iconic mask that he thought it didn't matter who was wearing it. You know, you didn't know who the killer was. And that does make for a good dynamic, so I like that idea. Um, I had a couple, uh, two things that are iconic to me, really. One of them's growing up, and one of them's just, even if you haven't seen it, seen any of the films, you know. And that that one would be uh, the Friday the 13th hockey mask that Jason wears. Uh, the Friday the 13th mask, I mean, everybody pretty much knows when they see that mask that, you know, there was a horror movie made with a guy wearing a mask like that. Um... The other thing is the uh, glove that Freddy Krueger wore. I think that thing was wicked. It's still wicked to this day. <laughs> and uh, I was scared to hell of it. So, Third one, horror movie music. And you're going to see where this is running. Um, my favorite horror movie music is the Nightmare on Elm Street music. It's so creepy. And it, it's especially in the second third movies when they added the the kids singing the one two freddy's coming for you and um that high-pitched screech of the metal on metal from the claws being drugged against the uh you know pipes in the boiler room and stuff it's just ugh, i still get creeped out by it um the third oh, i think that was number three number four we're rolling here folks four minutes in uh, number four's favorite horror movie, <laughs> and this is where we're going to eat up some time because I, I don't know if I can pick one, so I just thought I'd roll through some of my movies in my collection, and then at the end I'll try to pinpoint one that maybe I think is uh, my, my number one scariest horror movie that really hit me, and it might not even be in my collection, so let's get rolling here. Um, this one was really scary, freaked me out for a couple days. Uh, after I watched it, you know, I didn't have nightmares or wake up in cold sweats or anything, but that would be uh, Wolf Creek. If you haven't seen this, this is scary as hell. Um, another movie, uh, Hills Have Eyes, unrated version. And uh, here's one that's a little bit, uh, a little bit off, but you probably have seen it, uh, Dust Till Dawn. Uh, this one, the va it's a vampire flick more or less, but Dust Till Dawn, it's, it's a horror movie. It's not a straight horror movie. It's more like a horror action movie, but um, I dig it. Uh, then we come to more of a B-rated movie uh, flick era. I've got my Feast, Feast trilogy here. 
Feast one is definitely the best. The other two um, go for more of a gross out angle. The first one is really funny and it feels claustrophobic because they're trapped in this bar and the 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 uh, creatures are outside, you know, stalking them and they can't get out. You know, so the first one I recommend wholeheartedly. The other two, if you really dig the first one, the other two you might get a kick out of. But if you're kind of fouled out by, uh, you know, over-the-top gross behavior, you know, things, then I don't know if you ought to check those two out. Uh, the next uh, set of movies, here we got uh, Grindhouse. Uh, my favorite Grindhouse is Planet Terror. Uh, Death, Death Proof is awesome as well. Planet Terror, uh, I don't know if these are really horror movies. I feel that they go in the horror movie genre, so we got those. Okay, folks, we're rolling. Uh, another three, we got the Resident Evil movies. These are kind of cool. Uh, I put these with my zombie movies. They're not entirely that scary, but I am a big zombie movie fan, and, you know, Resident Evil's a zombie game, so these three go in the set. Um, okay, folks, now we're straight up into the zombie movies. We got a uh, zombie, awesome flick, zombie. Then we got a uh, zombie diaries. This one's really great, too, folks. Dawn of the Dead. Okay, then we get a little offbeat here. We got Flight of the Dead. <laughs> this is trapped on an airplane, of all things. Um, this is a nice little, uh, kind of a funny little movie, but it's still a zombie movie. Shaun of the Dead, awesome movie, Shaun of the Dead. Love Shaun of the Dead. Um... Next two zombie, these are, well, I guess they're zombie movies. I'll put them in the zombie movies because I think they are. Uh, the 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. 28 Days Later is fucking awesome. If you haven't ever seen 28 Days Later, you got to watch 28 Days Later. 28 Weeks Later, eh, it's all right. But, you know, not, none of these are, usually the second one is either far better than the first one or it is way worse. Like the Blair Witch movies. The Blair Witch first one was really good. The second one really sucked ass. So.